guess who's back again? Oh, I'm so sorry for making you guys wait for this part. I wanted to record this on Friday, but like I said, there was just a lot of stuff going on on the weekends, and I was just really busy. So I'm recording it now. Um, yeah. So we're going to say it's been like a week or like a couple. Let's just say a week since the whole incident with you and Robin kissing. Um, and you have caught Robin multiple times staring at you, but each time you catch him looking, he just like instantly looks away and just like looks down. And he's been avoiding like all conversation. Just genuinely you and Finny and Donna are like all over it. Asking you guys questions. It's mostly Finny, but they're like, what is going on? And so finally they meet up and they're like, we gotta set a plan. So I seriously need to Ah Finny, hey. Oh, yeah, Donna, did you something? Yeah, um, we gotta talk about Lesnar and Robin. Oh my god, yes, okay, what? Like, we need to do something, right? Yes, we do, we need to do, oh, I don't even know. Okay, we have to make a plan. Yes, plan, okay. What? I've, like never done anything like this before. I don't know what to do. Uh, oh my god, okay, I literally have the perfect plan. Well, okay, so basically, we're going to have a sleepover at Robin's, hopefully, and then, so she explains the plan to Finney, and he's like, oh my god, yes, it's like the perfect plan. Y'all don't get to know it yet. And so they run around trying to look for Robin. And then Finney's like, how about we just kill J. Burgess one stone and I find Robin and you find Listener. And she's like, okay, bet. So Finney runs around trying to find Robin and Tana tries, is trying to find you. And then Finney finds Robin and so he goes up to him. Oh my god, Robin, finally. Oh my god. I thought I was never going to find you. Uh, hi to you too, Finny. Did you need something? Yeah, actually. <sighs> One second. <sighs> okay. So, me and Donna were thinking, uh, maybe we could have a sleepover. Okay. And did you want to invite me to this or something? Well, actually, we were thinking, maybe possibly, if it was okay with you, uh, is your uncle home tonight? No. Oh. It, if you wanted to have it at my house, you could have just asked. So, is that a yes? Mm-hmm. Wait, actually, wait. Uh, who who all is gonna be there? I mean, well, who are you inviting at least? Um, uh, not that many people, just you, me, obviously Donna, and a listener. Listener. Um, you don't have anything against her, right? What? Oh, oh no, no, I don't have anything against her. Um. Then it would be fine if she hang out with us, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously. Uh, yeah, she can come. Just us four then? Mm-hmm. That alright with you? Uh-huh. Um, I'll double check with my uncle, but he's not home tonight, so he probably won't care. So now that that's secure, Finny goes over to where 
let's just say they like made like Finny and Donna made a meeting spot for afterwards. So let's say he goes over there and waits, and this is with Donna and you. D hey, listener, hey, yeah. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out tonight and possibly a sleepover? It would be at Robin's house. Are you okay with that? You don't have anything like against him or something, right? Okay, okay. Alright, you just gotta double check with him. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Okay. If force comes to a worst, I'll just sneak out. <laughs> okay, listener. Okay, well, I'll see you after school then. Bye. Fin sorry, not Finny. Donna goes and meets up with Finny. And they're like, okay, we, we're all good. We got the plan secured. Um, so, they go back to class or whatever. And uh, the school day f finishes. And you all go home. And do you double check with your parents? And your mom's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. And you're like... <laughs> okay and so you go over to robin's house and you knock on the door and let's say benny answers and he's like yeah let's know you're here and so you go in and donna and finny were already there and you guys go up to Robin's room and you're like, wow, this is, this is a really nice room. Let's just say he had like a really nice clean room. And yeah, and you guys are just talking. And I'm going to add some talking in there because I can. Oh my god. So then she said that I can't because Mr. Wilkinson is going to get us in trouble. No way. She didn't actually say that. Yeah, she did. And so she wouldn't let me join them. That's so messed up. I know. Uh, Robin, are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you seem to be lost in your thoughts. Like, space out. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. Robin, you're acting really weird. Yeah, like, even I'm saying you're acting weird, which is weird, because you never act weird. You said weird way too many times in that sentence. No, I'm not acting weird, I'm fine. No, you're acting way more depressed than you usually do. Seriously, Donna. Um, I I act depressed. Yeah, but like not this depressed. Not all the time. Is it because, uh, listeners here? What? No, no. Listeners fine. She doesn't do anything. There's <laughs> there's nothing wrong. Uh, there's no, there's nothing going on. We're fine. Dude. There's obviously something going on. What happened? What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing happened there. <laughs> nothing happened. There wasn't anything that happened. <laughs> what? There's nothing that happened at the, at the park. Nothing happened. Nothing happened after you guys left. Nothing happened. Uh, something happened after we left from the park? When was that? That was like last week. That's when you guys started acting weird. Oh my god, something did happen. Uh, I mean, no, nothing, I didn't, oh, 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 what, where are you getting that idea from, nothing happened, nothing happened, it was just a normal night, I went home, after she went home, that's everything that happened, literally nothing else happened, oh my god, what happened, listener, what happened, 
No, don't um me. Nothing happened. Something happened. Something happened. No, don't try to. Listen, I'm not stopping until you tell me what happened. No, don't just say nothing happened. Something happened. It's thoroughly obvious something happened. You two have been acting so weird. Listen, maybe we're acting weird because I fought her brother and I shouldn't have done that. And <coughs> maybe she's just, you know, mad at me or something. I don't know. No, no, she's not mad at you. I can tell. If she was mad at you, she'd tell me. But she hasn't said anything about you. Like, at all. Which, I wouldn't say it's normal for her to talk about you. But, like, seriously. I mean, it's normal for you to talk about her, Robin. What? Uh, no, it's not. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Benny? It is? Yeah, it's, like, super normal. And he hasn't been saying a word about her. Like, in forever. Ever since that night. Oh my god, something really did happen. Hey, you guys are telling me. Why? Why not? Listener, why aren't you telling me? You know, you can literally tell me anything. But, like, for some reason, you're not going to tell me this. Like, come on. There's obviously something that happened between you guys. And it's really obvious. And you guys should just tell me. Uh. D Donna? Um. What? Is it, Robin? Are you going to tell me? If you're not going to tell me, then you can just keep your mouth shut. Um. Um. I. So sorry that was so long. So um. Robin is just staring at the floor, and avoiding eye contact with like everybody. And he looks up and makes eye contact with you for like a split second. But then he looks back down, blushing, because he's just like remembering that night, which has been stuck in his head on loop for like ever since it happened. And Donna is just like staring at you guys. And then she stands up and drags Finny. And Robin's like, what? Fine. If you're not going to say anything, then me and Finny are just going to leave. What? <laughs> Donna, it was your idea to have a sleepover. You're just going to leave? Yeah. I mean, sure, it was our, our idea. But um, I actually remembered I have to uh, uh, go uh, help my mom with... Dinner. Donna, it's like, yeah, I know it's like 10 o'clock, okay? Um, we just eat dinner late, okay? Uh, Finny, let's go. Why does Finny have to leave? Um, I actually have to do the same thing. I also have to help my mom with, uh, dinner, so, yeah. F Finny, you don't live with your, yeah, um, uh, I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go. Okay, bye. What? What? Uh, um. Sleepover, really. I don't think this can be classified as a sleepover. Um. Listener, you can leave if you don't want to. I don't want to make you uncomfortable or anything. You don't want to go because of your parent. Uh, okay, that's understandable. Um, it you. I'm sorry about them, and I'm sorry about what's. I'm just. I'm just sorry. I didn't mean to stop talking to you. I just, I didn't know how to, um, how, how to react. I'm sorry. Here, you can, you can, um, 
You can have my bed to sleep. I'll just sleep on the floor. No, no, no. Really, I, I can't. That's that would be really disrespectful. Yeah, I'm sorry. Again. So he grabs some blankets out of his like closet or whatever and sits them up on the floor for him because he's such a gentleman and obviously is not he is not gonna like take the bed so he offers it to you and you guys lay down because it's like it's dark and you both are tired and you also don't know what else to do so you kind of just lay down and you're just laying there in like awkward silence and then you fall asleep and then you have a nightmare yippity yay and you wake up and you're like breathing really heavy and you're like no no and then you wake up and like i said you're breathing really heavily and you're like sitting up on the bed and you who woke robin up and so he like also sits up because he was you know he's laying on the floor so he sits up and like looks at you oh my god uh listener. are you okay oh no yeah you woke me up it's fine are you all right you had a nightmare <sighs> about dad i'm sorry here so let's just say he's like half asleep and he stands up and like gets it th this isn't weird he like gets in the bed and like comforts you he yeah It's fine. No, no. Come here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't need to cry over him. He's stupid anyways. Yeah, I know I don't know him, but by the way you describe him, he sucks. So, that's all I need to know. It's fine, just come here. Don't, don't make it weird, just come here. So, like he said, you guys, uh, you know, you just kind of like cuddle up to him. And he, like, uh, you're like wrapped around him and he has his, like his arm around you. You know? just kind of comforting you and your your head is like dug into his chest 
And you just like, you just fall asleep like that. And uh, he like kisses you on the forehead and then also falls asleep. And yeah, just not like that. See, it's fine. Just go to sleep. It's fine. It's fine. Good night. And I think should I? Okay, I'm just going to add when you guys wake up just just for funsies just because i can so yeah i'm just gonna say you woke up and you're like you opened your eyes and all you could see was his shirt and you're like, huh? And you look up and realize you're like, awesome. Look at up close to him and you're like, oh my god. It, but you don't want to wake him up. And you kind of like it, you know? So you just like snuggle up closer to him. And close your eyes. And then you um, hear something. You get uncomfortable down there. No, you don't need to, no, you don't need to go away, it's fine. No, I don't really remember what happened, but I don't really care. I mean, my uncle isn't home, so I don't have a reason to care. Besides, you looked like you were very comfortable, so I wasn't going to disturb that. Ben, look, how you went ahead and spoiled it. You already moved away. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can... <laughs> See, you can go back, I don't care. It's Saturday anyway, so I'm, there's no school, no reason to get up. <laughs> what? No. I... Listen. Just because this happens doesn't mean... I'm not going to tell Finny or Donna because they're going to go crazy if they hear this. So I think I'm just going to keep it to myself. But if you want to deal with telling them, you can. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you would want to either. It's fine, I don't. I mean. It doesn't mean anything. Unless you want it to mean something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 wait, come back, come back, come back. I'm sorry. I was enjoying that. Ugh, I don't want to get up. if we should that was really comfortable you know that was like the best sleep I've gotten in a while <laughs> maybe we should do this oh, I'm sorry 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 okay I'll get up I'll get up okay that's the end. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry if this was so short. Actually, no, 
I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying that. This was like 25 minutes long. I'm hope I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is very overdue. I will hopefully record the next part tomorrow. Uh,